Hey there guys, Neil here with an uh, app review for an app that I've been using for some time but recently got a major UI overhaul. So the app, in case you're not sure which it is, is Pocket Cast. So the version I'm reviewing is version 7 beta for Android. It just came out last week. I'm not sure if it's the same version or if it's in beta on the iOS side or if it's in public rollout there. But for the most part, from what I could tell, the UI is pretty much the same. So ju let's jump right into it. So the first thing you'll notice when you launch the app is that you're launched directly into the podcast you're subscribed to. So when you're here, you can um, scroll up and down to what you're looking at. You can now pull down to refresh. It'll automatically search for new episodes. Um, your overflow menu can will show you what the badges, um, your badge counts, so only the latest episode are all unplayed. Um, I haven't figured out a way to mark all of them, the unplayed as uh, read in case you, for example, you haven't listened to all of them or there's the old ones that are um, not um, available. So uh, you can, so for me, the current setup is to use either only the latest episode or off. Of course, that's not going to show you um, the correct count if there's more than one episode you haven't listened to, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the next thing you'll notice when that's different is that when you go jump into the um, episode playlist is that you'll now be able to select the episode, download it, um, add to the um, episode to play next or play last in your list, mark as unplayed on archives. So that way you get basically get a slightly refreshed um, inter or interactive experience with episode. Um, you also get... Um, uh, set up like this so when you hit the down arrow, you get more information about the episode you can control what happens uh, when you listen to the episode whether you want notifications auto download auto adding to next and things like that um, you also get a slightly refreshed uh, playback interface so in this case right now I'm listening to film stack so when you hit the menu button or the three lines down at the bottom left you get the episode guide you, the snooze button, of course, the or the playback effect button is still the same of what it does, but it's in a new spot. So volume boost and trim silence and speed, snooze um, options. Um, you can also favorite the episode if you want. Or from here, you can share the episode to your uh, social media or whatever you want to share it. The other thing that's different here is that now you can slide up to see what is next up on your playlist and rearrange it from there. So at the moment, I just have this one episode, one podcast episode to listen to. But as you add stuff to the list, it will show up here. Um, that's really the bulk of it there. Um, you can also um, hit the uh, mark as play, get shown and some things like that from here. And then you have the cast button on the top right as well if you want to cast it to a cast compatible device. Uh, the next item that's a little bit different is the filter. So you get things like um, items that are new releases, and you can adjust your filter settings here. Um, I've tried to delete them, but they keep showing up, so I don't know if, that, if that's a bug or there's a feature that hasn't been implemented yet. But you can also check out new episodes, so if you don't want to go through what's um, through your episodes to see what's new, then you have the option of looking here as well. And then you can um, set up various filters just like you would um, various playlists. The Discover tab has been moved, as you can imagine. So instead of having the hamburger menu of options, you can now, um, you just hit the Discover button. It's still the magnifying glass. And you'll see things like trending. So you can do show all to see what's trending right now. Um, you can also take a look at what's great for kids, popular in the U.S., where I'm at various networks, categories, and things like that. The new feature or one of the new features that's being touted in this version is that you can now listen to individual episodes without being automatically subscribed to those episodes. So if someone recommends an, uh, an episode and says you ought to check this out and if you like it, you can subscribe, that makes it that much easier rather than having to subscribe, listen or getting automatically subscribed by listening to the episode and then having to unsubscribe later. So uh, let's say I want to listen to... Um, something or an episode of the Misfits podcast. Um, someone says there's an episode that's particularly good. I can um, select the episode, add it to the up next. It'll automatically download, and I can take a listen to it. It's not going to automatically subscribe me. So unless I do up next, play last. So now I can go back. It'll automatically start downloading. So when I go um, into my main screen, I'm not going to see that anywhere. 
But now when I go into my uh, playlist, I can scroll up and there it is. It's, not, it's now in my playlist and I can listen to that one episode without having to uh, unsubscribe later in case I don't like it. Or if I do like it, now I have the option to subscribe. And then, of course, you have your profile where you get your uh, where you can sign into your account if you um, have an account, if you want to check out what you was currently downloaded. Um, if you want to check your start history, learning history, and things like that, or listening history, um, then that's going to be available later, I guess. But you have all of those options. Then you have your settings for um, archiving appearance. So if you want um, to see artwork on your lock screen using episode artwork and things like that, then all of those options are still in uh, the same place. So that's really the bulk of the new features there. So I know it does take some getting used to, but uh, once you get used to it, it's actually pretty nifty. I'm still getting used to it myself, but overall it is pretty good and I recommend giving it a shot. So um, like I said, I don't know on the Android side or on the iOS side if it's a final release or still on beta, but uh, currently on Android, it is in beta version 7. So if you want to check it out uh, to get the new UI and some of these new features, early then you can check that out um, and then in reading the blog post I think there's some account syncing upgrades as well so it should perform a little bit better there but that's Pocket Cast version 7, 7 beta for Android um, and then also available for iOS so that's really all there is for this particular review so if you want to get in touch with me or have questions you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01 the website is PatelN01.com you can find this review and any review on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01 and of course if you want to get um, this review early or get it uh, unlock the goal to get it as audio in your podcast kind of choice then be sure to um, support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01 but that's all there is for this particular episode and review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.